What's up, everybody? It's How To Tuesday, and we had a request for a not war, another one. Uh, Chris Travis, he sent me a message, said, have you ever tested the Slim Beauty against knots like the Bimini Twist um, or Two-Turn Blood Knot or Huff Nagel or any knot like that? So um, the response was, yes, I have, and we'll do it again on the knot wars, but I want to be clear on which ones we want to test against another knot and why. The Slim Beauty is a knot that was created in order to eliminate the Bimini twist, if possible. So we used to sit around and tie a Bimini twist, you know, you tie a Bimini twist on one end of the class tippet, you tie a Bimini twist on the other end of the class tippet, and we would just tie tons and tons and tons of those. I used to hang on a coat hanger and put them in my closet. We would have to take those out in the boat. Of course, you could rig it up in the boat like that, but it took a lot of time to prepare all those Bimini twists. And so we were looking for a way that, you know, could we eliminate the Bimini twist out of this setup? And for a lot of reasons, we were able to do that over time. One was that uh, fluorocarbon and monofilament got better. We used to use mason hard monofilament, and um, that was kind of a little bit more difficult to tie with than a lot of the stuff that's out there on the market today, which allows for different knots. But I want to test the Bimini. I, I wouldn't test the Slim Beauty against the Bimini Twist and the Huffnagel because it is a knot that is deci- that is you know, to, uh, we, we created it in order to try to eliminate the Bimini twist. So for fair comparison, let's do um, the Slim Beauty against another knot that's intended to get rid of the Bimini twist. And then maybe on a future one, we'll, we'll, we'll try, you know, one that uses the Bimini twist and one that doesn't use the Bimini twist to double the line. Theoretically, it would be stronger to double the line and then tie a knot than it would be to tie it with a single piece of of line. Um, So the ones that I've decided on today were exactly the ones that he suggested too. um, A Slim Beauty versus a two-turn blood knot. Okay, So with the two-turn blood knot, what we're doing is doubling the class tippet. And in this case, we're using 15-pound Diowa, uh, right up to 50 pound uh, Diowa fluorocarbon. And that's a pretty common connection for me. Uh, so we double the 15 pound, just, just bend it over itself, no bimini or anything like that. And then you're going to tie five turns with the doubled line, come back through, and only two turns with the fluorocarbon. I'll pull that just like a regular uh, blood knot. So if if you could see this, there is the the standing line here and a little tag end where the other piece was trimmed off. And that is kind of the same way that we do the Slim Beauty. We double the line over. It goes through a figure eight loop, six turns up, five turns back, and back through the loop pull that tight and that's what the slim beauty is. So in my hand right here I have a slim beauty and I have a similarly tied uh two turn blood knot both tied with Diowa 50 pound to Diowa 15 pound fluorocarbon, okay? So we have the Next Tech force tester which we've been testing all of these knots with that is going to remain consistent and I'll put on a glove so that I won't cut my hand on this deal and we'll do the this is the two-turn blood knot we'll do that one first we got the scale is reset take a couple wraps around here that should be good okay so this is the two-turn blood knot and here we go Ooh, 12.74 for the two-turn blood knot on 15 pound and it broke just about where you would think it actually broke within the knot within the knot so 12.74 pounds for the two-turn blood knot on 15 pounds so that's not so good really not not really so good and then we'll reset this one now we have the slim beauty 
And the Slim Beauty is going to test out at 13.7. Okay. So 12.74 versus 13.7. The Slim Beauty wins today. And this one was, it broke just below, just below the knot. Just below the knot where you would kind of, or maybe actually within the knot. Maybe that one broke a little bit within the knot. So both broke within the knot. And the moral of the story is that if you're going to use either one of these knots and you're looking for breaking strength of 15 pound, like the label says, bump it up to 20, bump it up to 20, tie that knot, and it would probably break at 18. If that's what you're looking for, you're looking for around 15 pound back breaking strength, then you could bump up the class tippet just a little bit and probably accomplish that. If you're looking, and, and again, the reason that you're using these knots versus a Huffnagel or versus a blood knot with um, a Bimini or many other knots that you could use that could be stronger, but you're knowingly using a knot that is not quite as strong because it eliminates a tremendous amount of knots out of the equation. A Huffnagel is can be two inches long, depending on how it's tied. These are tight little compact knots. I believe that the fish don't see them as well as a big, long, bulky knot. Um, and so if you're you know, trying to get a 20-pound leader, you know, maybe you use a little bit heavier class tippet and you accomplish that 20-pound leader. Now, that's not going to be eligible for a world record, but if you're just trying to make your rigging a little bit easier, a little bit faster, and be able to do it on the boat really easily, then these are knots that you might want to think about. But, you know, if you test them up against one that has a bimini in it, the, the other one's probably going to test stronger. Know that going in. All right, so between the two-turn bimini, I mean, between the <laughs> two-turn bimini, between the two-turn blood knot and the slim beauty, slim beauty wins today by over a pound. So there you go. Thanks for... Thanks for the idea, Chris. I appreciate it. And uh, if you have one, you can text me at 305-930-7346. That's how you get a hold of me. That's how Chris did it. And we can uh, have a future knot war with some knots that you like. All right, that's it for today. We'll see you next week. <laughs>